Yeah, the Beastie Boys played my demo for Rick Rubin, and uh, that's how I got my break. So, uh, you know, it's, um, you know, I have a real reason to be here. You know, it's not just like, oh, he's a rapper too. So he came to induct the Beastie Boys. It's like a real reason, and uh, I'm happy I could do it. It's pretty surreal, you know, to watch guys that you grew up with and um, started off with, you know, uh, started out with, you know, just to see them make this, you know, kind of leap into that next echelon, you know, it's uh, it's pretty amazing. It's incredible. It's, uh, it's, it's mind blowing, you know, and it's touching. I didn't know how, you know, emotional I would feel about it, but it's pretty, uh, so it's a pretty powerful moment. It says a lot to me about my childhood and brings up emotions that, you know, I have about coming up in the business and my music. So it's, it's great. It's phenomenal. Hey, you know, when you think about the Beastie Boys, ultimately it is the foundation of how they express themselves artistically is hip hop and through rap vocals. But after that, it's about all of their musical influences, whether it's The Clash or Led Zeppelin or you name it, you know, salsa, you know, they're just very experimental. I mean, you know, they'll, you know, they'll do anything. And I think it works because they love it. See, experimentation is a tricky thing. But when you experiment with things that you love, it's different from when you experiment with stuff just to be experimenting. And I think that that's the thing that kind of helped them bro break the mold, you know? Um, and then you'll go to their show and they'll have like an amazing DJ and it'll be crazy. And it's just, they're very, very eclectic group. And I think that word is used a lot, but in their case, it's, it's fitting. They're very eclectic in their musical expression and how they do their thing. At the end of the day, for me, you know, it's hard for me to listen to a Beastie Boy song without hearing a Beastie Boy voice, you know, because there's just something silly, I guess inherently silly about the way they deliver their music that's great to listen to and fun. And you know, and you see them running around and you know, and it looks like a joke, but they're serious. That's the part that people don't get. Like, you know, you know, you got, you know, it's just crazy with the big Volkswagen chain and, you know, but it's, they're great, man. Love them. Yeah. White kids in a black world, introducing white kids in a white world to a black world. It was pretty wild. There are a lot of great artists out there, and we all express ourselves in different ways. But, you know, hip-hop, you know, growing up as a hip-hop artist, we loved rock and roll, you know? And we, we loved those ACDC stabs, and we loved that, that buzz guitar. We, we thought it was the coolest thing in the world, Billy Squire. We loved it. So... You know, for us, you know, we're you know we're the late kids to the party, but we're happy that they're starting to embrace some of us, and that's cool. You know.